Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from structures. The problem states that a three-hinged arch with an internal hinge at B is shown. The arch supports a bridge deck whose design load is 9 kips per foot. The horizontal reaction in kips at A is most nearly what? So here's A. We know that we've got a vertical reaction and a horizontal reaction. We'll call it AY and AX. At C, we also know we got the same thing. So I'll draw it like this. We got CX, we got CY. And we've got this internal hinge at B, which means you've got an X and a Y and no, no moment happening here. And we've got the load of 9 kips per foot on top. So the first thing I'm going to look at is that the question is asking for what is AX and what direction is it? I just drew these in here this way. Um, we'll see if that works out. If it doesn't, the sign convention will tell me. So the um, first thing I'm going to do is because there's a hinge at B, I you can separate this at B. And so I'm just going to draw this arch here. So there's B, here's A, we know these dimensions, this is 25 feet to B, and if we add this up, we've got 20 feet to point C plus another, looks like 5 feet, so, well, I guess it's given right here, 25 feet, so we know that's 25 feet, and we know the the load up here is 9 kips per foot, okay, I guess we could draw in the rest of this something like that. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is we got these two reactions happening here. Um, if I take the sum of the moments about B, I'm going to say counterclockwise is positive, then I'm going to get 9 kips per foot times 25 feet is that length. And of course that when you do that you got to multiply it by uh, 12 and a half because this load's acting at half that length. So times 12 and a half plus AX times 25 minus AY times 25 equals zero. So that's one equation. We've got we've got two unknowns. We got our AX and our AY. Next thing I'm going to look at is the entire arch because if I look at that entire arch, I know that. If I can take the sum of the moments about C, then I can get AX and AY. Um, and then we'll have two equations and two unknowns. So let's go ahead and do that. If I take the sum of the moments about C, and again, I'm looking at the whole thing. So sum of the moments about C, I got 9 kips per foot times 40 feet. That's 25 plus 15 plus half that distance, the load's acting at half of that. So I'm going to multiply that by 20 feet, plus AX times 5, 5 feet, minus AY times 40. Because AY, I've got a point in this direction, which I said that would be negative according to my sign convention. So minus AY times 40, that all equals 0. So now we have two equations, two unknowns. Why don't I just take this first one and I'm going to get it in terms of AY and then I'll plug it in to this guy and we'll get AX. So if I solve for this, I get AY equals negative 25 AX minus 2812.5 all divided by negative 25. So that basically gives me AX plus 112.5. So that all comes from just deriving this, getting it in terms of y. So now I have my ay, I can go ahead and plug that into here and solve for ax. So this gives me 7200 plus 5ax minus, and I'll put this whole thing in bracket and parentheses that's AX plus 
all multiplied by 40. Set that equal to 0 and solve it and I get AX is equal to a positive 77.1 kips. So that means that the sign convention that I had was correct. If this was negative, it would mean this was supposed to be flipped. It means it would be going to the left. So this is actually going to the right. And the answer is D. 77 kips to the right. So I hope this helps you out. Uh, it's a nice structures problem on statics. If you need any more tips and tricks, head to civilengineeringacademy.com. Thank you, buddy. Thank you.